Welcome to this edition of Radiology Spotter Series. Today I will discuss a small neuroradiological neuro case which has a very unique finding. The condition is called as hypertrophic olivary degeneration. I will take you to the first image of the case. What is the investigation that you can see in front of you? This is a T2 weighted MRI image. You can see the bones are dark, the fat is white, you can see the fluid is white. So we are looking at a T2 weighted MRI image. This is the area of the temporal lobes, this is the area of the cerebellum and you can see this is the area of the pontomesencephalic junction. So what is the finding in this MRI? You can see a T2 on a T2 weighted image a hypo intense area in the dorsal part of the pons on the left side. On the left side on the dorsal pons you have a hypo intense area. This could indicate hemocytrin staining in this area or old blood products. It is for a you know for a resident or for an undergraduate sometimes it is difficult to understand how blood looks like on MRI. Blood has different appearances, hemorrhage has different appearances on T1 and T2 weighted images depending on the stage of the hemorrhage. So in acute hemorrhage would because of the deoxyhemoglobin content would appear different. Subacute hemorrhage would have different appearance as per if it is intracellular methemoglobin or extracellular methemoglobin and chronic hemorrhage because of hemocytrin he would have different appearance. So the key message that I want you to know is if you see something which is dark on both T1 and T2 weighted images this could be chronic hemorrhage or hemocytrin. This can be further confirmed on a gradient echo or a susceptibility weighted image. On this image we take a provisional idea that okay this could be hemocytrin staining in this area. Now when we look at the next image now now in the same patient if we look at a T2 weighted image at a lower section you can see the cerebellum you can see the medulla what is the finding you can see the hypertrophy you can see a bright area which is appearing hypertrophic area in the vent anterior part of the medulla in representing a hypertrophic olivary nucleus now so uh, this is a very important condition that I want you to know because Hi, this is this entire set of images represents hypertrophic olivary degeneration. What is it? It is a transsynaptic degeneration. It is a result of a lesion, like in this case we had a hemorrhage, which is damaging the connect connections between the dentate nucleus, the red nucleus, and the inferior olivary nucleus. This entire pathway is also called as dentatorubral olivary pathway. So actually speaking this circuit is connecting the dentate nucleus of the cerebellum, contralateral red nucleus and ipsilateral inferior nuclear olivary nucleus. So the dentate nucleus and the olivary nucleus on the same side and the red nucleus on the contralateral side. This dentato rubro olivary connections were described by two people called as Gullian and Molaret. Hence this area is also this pathway is also called as Gullian Molaret triangle and is classically associated with palatal myoclonus this is very important association so why is this disease so important because this is a unique type of degeneration which is resulting in enlargement of the affected structure structure like in this case there is inferior olivary nucleus enlargement rather than atrophy that is why this degeneration is very important thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this ep episode of the spotter series and I would recommend that you follow us on Dam City channel of YouTube. Thank you.